That was the scene in California's Mojave Desert five years ago. Our historic first view of the newcomer's ship. Theirs was a slave ship carrying a quarter million beings bred to adapt and labor in any environment. But they've washed ashore on Earth with no way to get back to where they came from. And in the last five years, the newcomers have become the latest addition to the population of Los Angeles. Firmly under your feet. Right now. Oh, it's on the menu. Susan is serving a delicious grasshopper mole. Here for a worm or a tarantula mint. Uh, thanks, Buck. I'll stick to the cocktail we need. <laughs> They'll be here, George. Then erupt those terraces to dust. Relax. I am relaxed. It's a wonderful party. Why don't you come and enjoy it? Well, in a moment. George, it's the day of descent. All our friends are here. I'm happy. Emily's excited. And even Buck, the alien without a cause, is smiling. George, why is it every year on our happiest holiday you're always such a grump? I'm sorry. I'm trying to have fun. George, Susan, great uh, descent party, I guess. So you've been bugging me for weeks to show me this new Tri-Deck VCR unit of yours. Where is it? Oh, yes, Matt. I'll... Oh, um, excuse me, uh, Matt, I'll show it to you later. <laughs> oh, no, my friend. How good it is to oh, see you. Oh, King. Oh, that's the vodka. That's what's that. For you. Oh, so expensive. No. Besides, what is money between old friends? <laughs> Business must be doing better. Mm, I've been pretty lucky lately. We hear you may have good news. Well, we hope so. We were so sorry you couldn't come to the coupling. But our binom, Albert, is here. You must meet him. Huh. Oh, Matthew, I want you to meet two of our dear friends from the ship. Tom and Albert. And don't tell me. Edison. Ah, you've heard of my lighting store. Wow, well, yes. Oh, yes. Attention, attention. Please gather around, everyone. We have an announcement. <laughs> As is descent holiday tradition, to celebrate the day our ship landed, newcomers choose an Earthling to do special things for as a gesture of goodwill for liberating us. And this year, 
the Francisco family would be honored if Matthew Sykes would serve as our descent holiday dork. Dork? Dork is Tanktonese for revealed one. Smile, it's an honor. All right, what the hell? I guess I'm your dork. Come, I must show you my new Trinac VCR. Right. <laughs> and there were alarms of warning throughout the ship, and much talk of our forced landing. A new beginning was at hand, and as the great craft descended to its place of rest, new vistas opened up our eyes, filled with wonder, and we pledged to embrace all Earth beings as our friends forever. <laughs> and this is what I've learned since we were released from quarantine. <laughs> Best descent party ever, George. Yes, I suppose. What is it, Stanya? What that rest has such to. Nari Evold. What you doing here in the dark? Oh, just recharging for more fun. George, what is it? It's nothing, sir. with getting some fresh donuts around here. I cannot work with a belly full of stale donuts. I'm sorry. What the hell are you doing? You've been complaining about having a clean desk, so I've alphabetized all the files, organized everything in your in-and-out baskets, disinfected your desk and your phone's mouthpiece. Now, you really shouldn't talk with your mouth full. I hope everything is to your satisfaction. It's great. Why? You are the dork. It's customary to do a nice thing each day of the descent season for the one being honored. Anything. Anything. Even getting fresh donuts. If that is what you desire. Oh. Uh. Maybe being a dork won't be so bad. Albert, where have you been? I was supposed to clean my office an hour ago. Uh, I, I'll get right to it, sir. Excuse me. Well? What you got under the coat? Nothing. Yeah, well, you're nothing, just cooed. What is it? <laughs> oh, get that filthy thing out of here right now. It's just a bird. Yeah, 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 it's not a bird, Einstein. It's a pigeon. They're disgusting creatures, flying bags of germs to get rid of it. That is unfortunate. What's the big deal? It's just a pigeon. I believe it is Albert's dork. You two, in my office, now. 
No, no, George. You, you, you said I was a dork. How can a pigeon be a dork? Only humans would be so arrogant as to assume such superiority. In our eyes, we're grateful to all of Earth's creatures. Pigeons? Thanks. We've got another missing newcomer. That makes two in the last week. I know. When the Newcomer Advocacy League finds out, I'll be on the hot plate. It looks bad at being your decent day and all. Descent. Day of descent. Whatever. Just clear it up. The latest subject is a guy named uh, Joe Comet. I was just notified his wife's in the booking area. Get out there. Joe's a good man. But he gambles. He's lost on rent money more than once. I'm not supposed to know, but you hear things from the other wives. Anyway, when he loses, he borrows money from the local money broker. You mean a loan shark? He's been coming around, looking for him. Do you know this man's name? Flack, Dion Flack, two-bit money collector for the mob. Scumbag and I go way back. I must have busted him 30 times, and 30 times he's gotten off. Let me do the talk, and we have a rapport. What the hell's going on here, guys? Hey, Dion, how you doing? Hey, Dion. Jeez, I should have known. Hey, the threads are nice, but the face is just as ugly. You know, it's really good to see you two, Sykes. Mind if I have my arm back now? We're looking for a newcomer named Joe Comet. You see him sending my way. The sponge head owes me eight bills. No offense. You wouldn't make someone disappear for eight bills now, would you? You know what your problem is, Sykes? You, unlike me, are not a people person. Why would I want somebody who owes me money to disappear? It's simple arithmetic. Here, pay, gone, bye, boom, boom. You know what I mean? Now, you gentlemen don't have any further questions or a warrant. I shall be on my way. Happy holidays. Bring him out! For me, I believe you'll find it still warm. Now, this is a donut. It's all a part of that dark stuff. Why the long face, George? Joe Comet's case is no longer a missing person. Now it's homicide. Hey, Roscoe, how you doing? You look awesome. How's life treating you? <laughs> like he caught me in bed with his wife. <laughs> Look at this, huh? Back in the 80s, the good old days, we'd have, what, 20, 30 stiffs a day. Now they just stack them up like cords of wood. Doctor, where's the body? Well, you'll see some beauties under there, but it's going to take a lot more than a kiss to wake this guy up. Mm, what's the cause of death? I haven't had time to delay him yet, but you can roll a bowling ball through the hole in this guy's chest. 12 gauge message from the mob for all the boys that owe money, huh? No, no, no shotgun, not that pretty. You know, a newcomer is like a salsa tablet in the ocean? Yeah. Well, somebody bored a hole in this guy's chest with a high powered stream of salt water. I mean, it's like having acid sprayed right through your body. And from the look on his face, I'd say that he was awake during the whole thing. It must have been out of a sight. Can you tell Miss Carter? Okay, I'll 
Jesus came, so stay young, bro. Yo, George. Earth to George, Earth to George, come in, George. You all right, man? Oh, yes, Matthew, I'm fine. I, I need, uh, I'll be right back. Something I have to take care of. Hey, that's funny. I mean, you're usually the one turning a little green around the gills when you come down here, side. <laughs> Tom, bon George. Hi. What? I must speak with you. Is this a bad time? No. No, no. Come inside. George, what is wrong? Do you have something to drink? Aren't you on duty? I just need it. I always keep a little something, you know, for the, the rough days. Do you remember the way the bodies looked? Why, after they played, do you remember? What are you doing this for? George, please get out of the past. Wasn't the hole burned all the way through? I really have to go now, Stanya. I can't. Wasn't the wound burned all the way through? Yes! It was burned all the way through. Why do we have to relive it? Because I think I have just seen such a body. No. I think the game is being played here on Earth. It's an accident, sir. I'm sorry, sir. I don't know how he got out, but... Got I'm... out? What is this? It looks like a feathered fertilizer to me. I told you to get rid of that thing. I tried, sir, but if I don't care for him, they will put him to sleep. These things happen, Einstein. Lose the bird. Come on, Brian. Wait, 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 wait. Brian? You named this thing Brian? You trying to be a wise guy? I wish I was wise, sir. I'm just trying to be honorable. Respect for Earth's creatures plays an important part in our day of descent ritual. And in choosing a name for my Earth dork, I sought one that was worthy of, of such respect. Come on, Albert. I'll help you lose the bird. Oh, all right, all right. Hold it. OK, look, you keep that thing in the cage, out of this office, and when that wing's back in service, he goes. You got it? Yes, sir. Thank you. I promise. Come on, Brian. From Isaiah, three seconds left, two seconds, shoots, no count if it goes, it goes! <laughs> hey, where you been? Oh, Getting near crunch time. I don't have anybody to pass to. Something I had to check out. Yeah, well, I've been doing some checking myself. Guess what? All the missing newcomers had had recent money troubles with that sleaze bucket flack. This time I'm gonna nail him. I don't think he's behind this. Oh, come on. I don't think any human is behind this. What? It's a coincidence that four newcomers that just happened to be having trouble paying back the mob just happened to be disappearing? I just think it could be something different. George, flack's a lock. Why must you always have the head of a pig? I'm not the one being pig-headed here. Why can't you look beyond your personal vendetta and consider the possibility that they might be disappearing for much bigger reasons? George, you've been drinking. Maybe I have. What the hell is wrong with you? Ever since this day of descent thing rolled around, you've been a pain in the ass. 
Now, if you've got some info on this case, spill it. But don't go ripping my head off, because I'm doing my job. Look, on the ship, the overseers used to play this game. It was very much like the one you called Russian roulette. Comet's wounds, they... They closely resembled those of the slaves who lost this game. And you think this whacked out game is going on now? I'm not certain. So you got no proof? It's just a strange feeling. Great. Another one of your feelings. George, we're cops. We deal in facts, not feelings. And the fact is, Flack has plenty of motive. You're just letting your milk-fed imagination get the better of you. Why don't you knock off? Maybe you're right. Maybe it's just the season. Well, oh, George, a lot of humans can't stand their holidays either. I mean, have you ever seen the stats around Christmas time on suicide? <laughs> just something about all that happiness makes people go crazy. Go home, sleep it off. <sighs> Good night, Matthew. Canten, Bono. Tom Edison wins again! Thank you, Brian. Hi, it's Big Brian. Here you go. So to become one of the family, hey, Captain. Just make sure he doesn't make a mess. <laughs> so, George. Yes. Where's my donut? I'm sorry, Matthew. I forgot. Forgot. I couldn't get any sleep last night. I am sorry. Oh, my fault, my fault. I thought you took this dork stuff seriously. I forgot. Laurel, Hardy, my office. Where are we on the flak surveillance? He's under a microscope. One slip up, we'll squash him. Yeah, we'll tighten the noose. The Midnight Boys found another newcomer body. Here, they're worth a thousand words. The NAL is chewing me red. I want action. And here, we found this on the victim's body. Note the residue in the tread. Have SID run a bio scan. See where it came from. As you can see, it's an all too familiar story. Roscoe's confirmed the cause of death. 
It's just like comets. Salt water burns through the chest. SID's up here. You're going the wrong way. No, I'm not. I thought we were partners. Oh, I get it. Another disappearing act like the one you just pulled in Grazer's office? One body as a warning, maybe, but not two. Well, is this more of that game crap? Is that what it's about? What it's about is telling the Tanktonese family that their father will not be home for the holidays. Any more questions? Hey, what do you got, Bob? All right, I'll grab my coat. No. It's a Tanktonese matter. Besides, you obviously have your own agenda. something to nail you with. See the family? Look, George, I don't want to ruin your holidays anymore, but... George? They did it to him on the ship, and they're doing it to him again now. George, Flack is a human. He wasn't on the He's ship. He's just bringing the players. <sighs> to, to the game. He thought he had beaten it, but he is, he is out of control. It, it's an obsession. You play the game, you face death over and over again, and it, 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 you become addicted. It controls you. You have no choice. George, you, you played the game? Yes. Yes, I played. They made me play. I sat powerless and I watched the others die. And then. There was just one barrel left, and it was pointed at me, and they were cheering. They were cheering for me to die. And then the alarm sounded, and panic set in. We, there was no time to finish. The day of descent had begun. All the others had died.
I have to get Tom back. There is a nightclub he's been frequenting. Alva found some credit card receipts. He's been acting very strange. She thinks Tom is having an affair. Can you believe it? They got a bus around back. They bring him in here like it's a New Year's Eve bash. Well, I don't think they're gonna like the party favors. When Tom gets here, we move. George, I don't think it's time for uh, last rites, George, unless you know something I don't. No, Matthew, these are not rosary beads. These terrors are a symbolic reminder of our liberation from enslavement and the freedom we now enjoy on our new planet. Each bead represents some aspect of Earth. This one is for air, and this one is for water. And these are the solid ground we tread upon. Many of the newcomers carry these around holiday times. Emily made these for me. Susan and the children love the descent holiday, so it's a very special time for them. You've never... You've never told Susan about you in the game, have you? And how does one do that, Matthew? Hello. One William 52 requesting backup at 11976 Brooklyn, possible 187 in progress. George. All units in the vicinity of 4th and Main, backup request. What the hell is this? What it is, Sykes, is a legal enterprise. And you two guys are in a lot of trouble. Excuse me. Come on, man, just a little oil wrestling. Sykes, what's going on? I'm not sure. Again, though no works for me now. Thank you for coming, gentlemen. Please sit down. As you know, I've asked you here in the hopes of avoiding your proposed lawsuit. My client takes these charges quite seriously. Forced entry, false arrest, trespassing. Illegal search without a warrant, use of firearms without provocation. Oh, yeah, it's a hell of a laundry list. But from where I stand, you're the ones who smell dirty. Sykes, we've got nothing on him. Maybe not here, but where I come from, he is guilty of all. Francisco, shut up. Captain, my client is an honest citizen who simply deserves justice. He's just pushing buttons, George. You're stronger. Tune him out. Captain, our intention was right. The location was wrong. The nightclub is a rendezvous. He buses spectators to the game where people are murdered for their viewing pleasure. Captain, this is slander. He is a murderer. That is outrageous. Francisco, desist! Fever of the Kenwood Stangia. Not Lonag Vuda Vot Ek. George! I will see you dead, Kulak. As of this moment, you are both off this case. Now get him out of here, Sykes! Now! <clears throat> not sit by and let that butcher keep on killing. Now, George, have a slug of milk. Thank you. Kulak was right, you know. On the ship, he kept me locked in a cage. He tormented me whenever he pleased. And now that I'm in a position to do something about it, I am equally powerless. 
I couldn't stop him then, but I... Well, off the case, George. You're going to have to be patient. Kulak will slip up. It's just a matter of time. And how many others will die while we wait? How many other innocent victims? I will not let him kill. I will not let him kill like he killed Rutra. Damn it, George. Get a grip! What's past is past. The dead are dead. You gotta stop blaming yourself because you survived. Because you got lucky. Lucky? Rutra died. You couldn't save Rutra, George. He was a guy who was in the wrong place at the wrong time. You're just a... Another newcomer whose time had come. Rutra wasn't just another newcomer. He was my brother. I didn't know he was family. Sorry. Come on, let's go. No. <clears throat> it may backfire. It's not your fight. We're partners, George. Partners. You'll never know how much that means to me. Where's George? I don't know. He ran out of here about 20 minutes ago. Damn. Where'd he go? He wouldn't tell me. He, he ran in here. He tore open this police file that was delivered earlier, and then he left. What is it? It's a bioscan report. SID ran on some evidence found on a victim's shoe. Does it tell you where he went? I think so. Bad take. Looks like you got a hot player. Edison's good, but this game feeds on losers. Get me three more. Next game's in two nights. I'll never let you down, because you pay up. Still trying to beat the law of averages, Steinger. Like your friend, the odds of losing will catch up to you. I meant what I said, Kulak. I will see you dead. Have you forgotten your position as an officer of the law? Steinger, I'm defenseless. I know. Enough, Steinger. I control you now like I controlled you when I brought your brother to play the game. That wasn't control. That was you hiding behind the power of the Klesan Sung. But the cage bars that separated us then and the earth laws that separate us now no longer exist. Both of three Tamshpan. You. Me. And your law of averages. Who is next to sit at the table? 
You will be a brave player. But you will make for better sport. Stanga, I'm going home. What is it you want? I want to see what you're made of. Yeah, you're crazy. Crazy enough to give you your wish. There is your chance to watch me die. also my chance to watch you. I will not play the game, Stanga. I'm going to give you something that you never gave Rutra. A chance to survive. If you win, you walk. But if you do not play, I will kill you where you sit. Push it. Can you see the faces of those you have murdered? Can you hear their screams? Push it. Push it! Victim's eyes scream for mercy. <laughs> Do you feel their children's pain? Can you hear their voices calling you now? Push the button. Like Rutra did. And Tom. And Joe Comet and all of the others. Push it! Come on, Butcher. <laughs> Live the moment. Push it. <laughs> Push it. <laughs> I want you to see their faces every day you rot in jail. You're lucky you played the game with George. I'm Sitarata Minonis Katruna, no Slima. As is tradition on the final day of the descent holidays, let us all join hands and express our thanks to the earth. Emily? I am beholden to the earth for our home. I am beholden to the earth for freedom. I am beholden to the earth for new friends. I am um, not real good at this. Welcome to earth. 
You sure make things interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I am beholden to the earth for my family and for my husband, who can now celebrate the day of descent in peace. I am beholden to earth for our new life. Long may we celebrate day of descent. Long may we celebrate the day of liberation. Liberation.